हेलो एम ऑडिबल राज गुड मॉर्निंग Hello guys. So I'll start the session. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so how to make a business plan? This is the session for today. So myself Raj Gandhi. Let me give some uh, introduction about myself. I am a BVCOE pass out 2019 batch, and uh, I have a uh, work ex of three years. And currently I am doing my MBA from Wellinger Institute of Mumbai. So yeah. Uh, let me tell you about something about my college days. uh like i passed out uh, passed out in 2019 and uh, in the last year i was uh, also part in the hackathon uh, 2019 winner uh, so during those days i was completely into projects and national level project competitions and uh, all that stuff so i barely any uh, like uh, attended any lectures uh, during my last year so uh, that was the case with me and uh, yeah so that is about myself uh, now i am doing my mba uh, in uh, management and uh, let's uh, and uh, i have al- already made uh, many uh, business pitches uh, recently i have been to iit guwahati uh, and simba ss pitch my business plan so uh, i'll uh, tell you what i have learned from there actually i wanted to keep this session interactive but since i cannot hear your vi- voices so i'll just uh, skip few questions who wants to be an entrepreneur in the class yeah i can see some hands according to you what is entrepreneurship can anybody uh, write in chat anybody anyone please what is entrepreneurship according to you okay uh, let me tell you what is ac- uh, entrepreneurship according to me okay okay fine fine, fine. Uh, there's no right or wrong answer to defining entrepreneurship entrepreneurship can be according to me is all about uh, is all about creating a uh, uh, like entrepreneurship is uh, all about uh, making something from nothing so and the uh, the most difficult part is execution of that something so according to me entrepreneur is someone who creates something from nothing so you have to have good observation skills you need to understand the market conditions you have to uh, understand the customer pain points so all these things when you club it together and you create a business plan that and you execute that business plan that comes under entrepreneurship so uh, so what is a business plan uh, let me tell you a business plan is a comprehensive plan wherein uh, which contains all the parts of business like the operations finance the uh, marketing plan uh, every every aspect of business is uh, in in there in a business plan so uh, it's uh, like you we all are engineers we think that हम हम लोगों ने प्रॉब्लम निकाला और उसका सोल्यूशन फाइंड किया तो काम हो गया ऐसी बात नहीं है दैट इज ओनली थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ दॉब थर्टी परसेंट जॉब इज डन वी हैव टू हैव द रेस्ट सेवेंटी वी हैव टू कम्प्लीट द रेस्ट सेवेंटी परसेंट पार्ट ऑफ इट ऑल्सो सो बिजनेस प्लान इट्स नॉट ओनली जस्ट अबाउट प्रॉब्लम एंड सोल्यूशन वी वी नीड टू डिवाइज द फाइनेंशियल वी नीड टू डिवाइज द ऑपरेशन वी नीड टू डिवाइज द मार्केटिंग स्ट्रैटेजी how will product that market so all that aspects are included in a business plan so let me start up, uh, like what should be the structure of a business plan the, uh, this is not a hard and fast rule that you should follow this uh, structure but if you do uh, this would be great so let me start first the first slide should be your startup or your idea or your product what your startup does so in this slide you should describe uh, what your company does in a few lines you can also mention the vision the mission of your startup uh, what your startup does what is the main aim of your startup so uh, that should be the first slide the, this slide actually impresses the this is the first impression of your uh, business plan so uh, make it uh, likewise so what's the business plan overview so first slide should be a prob- uh, problem should address the problem and also the solution so in this slide 
we should focus on the problems that we are solving uh, because the problem is the most important part of any business plan so we should uh, explain the customer's pain point we should get into the shoes of the customers and try to explain the customer's pain point and why this product is the current need in the market that is the most important part if the investors think that this is not the current need in the market then they will back out they will not uh, even entertain you so please try to understand problem is the most important part of any business plan and if you are able to convey it properly then you are halfway through let me tell you that so focus on this uh, guys uh, focus on explaining the problem very very well the next part is obviously the solution so uh, in the solution you should focus on how you are trying to solve the problem in an innovative way that innovative way is very very important because if your product if your solution is not innovative then it will obviously raise question that ye tera competitor bhi yahi kar raha hai uh, they will raise questions that they, uh, they are competitor bhi yahi kar raha hai to te tu kya alag kar raha hai wo main usme invest kar deta hu tu kya kar raha hai so that should be a innovative problem that you are solving so uh, and you should present it uh, present it in that way so and also you should explain in solution what is the unique selling point or usp of your product this is another important point usp is like if uh, i am uh, like abhi zepto zepto ka usp kya hai wo 10 minute mein delivery deta hai sabko so that is the uh, that is the usp of zepto so you should be ex- uh, uh, able to explain this point to the investors and obviously you should focus on why why this solution is needed why you are, uh, how you have derived this solution why is this uh, needed right now in the market like you should be able to understand in uh, that uh, like explain in that perspective okay so this is one of the most important part of your presentation the problem and the solution part of it so a uh, next slide should be your value proposition so from stakeholders point of view how does your product adds value to anybody's life so uh, let's say for example zomato what how does zomato add value to your life a stake let me tell you what a stakeholder is a stakeholder is not only an investor who invest money in your uh, startup but a stakeholder can be anyone like in case of zomato stakeholder the delivery partners are also the stakeholders of zomato right the customers like us are also the stakeholders of zomato and obviously the ceo the investors or the stakeholders so in the value proposition you from a stakeholders point of view how does your product add value to their life that is the most important part so in case of zomato uh, we can say that uh, the uh, how does uh, as a customer how does it add value to our life we get delivery doorstep delivery we don't have to cook any food right so that's the value proposition that they are providing uh, to us and you should also be able to explain the benefits uh, you promise to deliver to the existing as well as the new customers let me tell you uh, the benefits are very very important you should uh, be able to create a win win situation between the customer and the uh, like the ma- uh, manufacturers so you should be able to bridge the gap you should identify the gap uh, that is the problem and you should address that gap the next should be the customer segment who are your customer you should Uh, be able to clearly define that agar mera startup food delivery mein hai to mere customers segment matlab mere customers kon kon hai like the general uh, the general population will be my customers the restaurants will be my customers so you should be able to explain what is your customer segment yeah so the market size this is also a very important part because as an investor i will look uh, what is the total market size of uh, of this uh, of your product so let's say uh, i'm uh, my startup is working in a food delivery sector so my market size i can give the rough estimate of my market size as 2 trillion rupees as this is my market size of food delivery sector so and also the market share like tomato has 20% market share swiggy has 55% market share danzo has 5% market share zepto has 20% market share so you should be able to articulate the market share in this way so that uh, the investor will know that you have done your research and you are uh, confident that 
you will be able to make space for your product uh, among this competition okay so uh, after market size you should be able to define target market target market is basically segmentation of market like if i am a uh, food delivery if i am a uh, zomato then uh, i am uh, like uh, segmenting my market into gender age average spend per customer interest for example gender if i feel that male customers uh, i i i will be delivering less uh, uh, like food to the male customers but my female customers will be large size so that is according to the gender according to the age so uh, 40% of uh, of my customers will be from the age 31 to 45 and 60% will be from 46 to 60 so that is how i should be able to uh, segment my market so what is my, also this is also the important part the average spend per customer or the customer acquisition cost this should be like uh, this is the question that is asked by every investors so what is my average spend per customer so that we should be able to answer and also the interest like in case of food delivery business uh, my interest uh, the are uh, Punj- i like punjabi food or uh, like i like continent- continental food so i should be also able to uh, show the interest what kind of interest are my customers looking for so this should be the segmentation of target market so that is how you should uh, articulate this uh, target market segment so yeah so this is also the important part of any business plan what is my go to market strategy so imagine if you are launching uh, the product in the market like tomorrow itself then how would you go about it what would be your plan like kal main agar mera uh, business mere startup jo hai wo market mein launch kar raha hu to mera strategy kya hoga that is basically what go to market strategy is so uh, it is basically what is the strategy to enter into the market so you should be very clear about this like abhi agle mahine mein ye ye strategy se market mein jaunga and this is also the one of the important question that any investor will ask how are you planning to acquire your first 100 customers this is the uh, also important part of any uh, go to market strategy and this is the question that uh, we have been asked uh, in many many business pitches like how are you planning to gain your first 100 customer so you should be very very clear how uh, to uh, you know you should be ready with your answers for this question you now go to market strategy so let me tell you what is my, uh, the go to market strategy i guess you uh, guys heard about it so i'll uh, define again in brief so imagine you are uh, entering into the market tomorrow and you are launching the market uh, your product tomorrow in the market so how would you plan okay so uh, i'll repeat the go to market strategy again uh, guys this is one of the important uh, part of the uh, your presentation your business plan so imagine if you are going tomorrow launching your product into the market then how would you introduce your product into the market like what is the strategy to going into the market if you are introducing it tomorrow uh, and uh, one of the most important part is how are you planning to acquire your first 100 customer so if i uh, if i am an investor think from an investor's point of view like how are you planning to uh, acquire those 100 customers what is your target after 6 months like after uh, during my pitch i used to say after 6 months i i will acquire around 5000 customers on my platform so that should be a uh, the strategy that you should be able to uh, convey to the investor and apart from that what marketing channels are you using for going into the market like you are advertising your product in newspapers that could be one of the strategy uh, second would be pr uh, through online media or through word of mouth marketing you are uh, uh, you are going into the market you are doing your marketing or via online social media platforms like facebook instagram you are running ads on facebook instagram for your products so to you, you increase your user base so that could be uh, uh, that this is how you should uh, devise your go to market strategy uh now moving on to the competitors so uh, this is also one of the important part because the investors will always think that there are always some kind of competitors to your product as an engineer we used to think that are maine to ek ekdam unique product banaya hai mera to koi competition hi nahi hai market but understand this is not the case 
for example there are two types of competitors first one is direct competitor and second one is indirect competitor the direct in case of zomato who is the direct competitor of zomato it's swiggy right so zomato's direct competitor is swiggy but when it comes to indirect competitors what do you think indirect competition is so in case of pepsi coca cola who are their indirect competitors it's it's not uh, like any other beverage company but it's water the people prefer drinking water over coke or anything like that so water can uh, the water producing company or the distilleries of the world can be the indirect competitor for pepsi so you should be able to think in that way that there are always co uh, competitors in this world like you cannot have uh, that you cannot say in front of investor that i don't have any competitors so you should be able to find the competitors uh, like who are working in this sector i already working in this sector so uh, it could be anyone and you should be able to uh, this is the competitor analysis you should be able to do the competitor analysis for your product so example zomato swiggy zepto danzo these are the uh, delivery uh, delivery startups and you should be able to uh, like list all the all the parameters Ma parameter 1 parameter 2 parameter 3 it could be market share what is the market share zomato's market share is 20% swiggy is 50% zepto is 10% you should be able to compare each and every uh, competitor and the last one should be your so uh, after danzo you can write your startup if you are start uh, like if you are working in the food sector you should write the food sector and you should uh, compare the, this parameters with your start uh, with your startup so you this slide is also very important because this tells the investors that you have actually did some market analysis Uh, uh of the product of your product so uh, guys uh, uh, you should be able to do this competitor analysis so and uh, what, uh, another important thing uh, is your team uh, as an engineer i used to always think that mai akel mai technically bahut strong hu mai akela sab kar lunga manage mere ko sab aata mai akela sab kar lunga but this is not the case guys you should be having a team like you guys must be uh very good at uh, technical products but some other guy you uh, will uh, uh, will be good at marketing that product some other guy will be go uh, good at devising a financial plan for that product so you should find a team uh, with a mixture of all these things finance operations uh, uh, like hr marketing you should be able to find the team uh, which fits all the parameters because as an investor i will think that if you're doing this all this alone then you won't be able to survive in the market for a very long time because you will need a, a co-founder founder co-founder your team members ceo cxo everything everything so please please guys focus on building a very good team for your product uh, and in this slide you should uh, describe the position of that person and the role that they play in your startup so uh, this is the, the comprehensive view of how your team should be okay moving on to the financials in any any startup this is uh, like the most favorite part of any investors uh, you should be able to articulate your uh, how, how many assets you have how many liabilities you have uh, what is the equity the difference between both like how many equity percent you guys must have seen shark shark tank india right so they they say that i'll give 10 lakhs for 5% of my company or 50 or 20 lakhs for 2% of my company that is a valuation game so you should be able to evaluate your company because uh, because as an entrepreneur you are creating something out of nothing so it is very difficult to fi find the financials of any Uh, any uh, new new uh, product but uh, you will you will have to do this exercise because investors will uh, see what is the assets what is the liabilities of a company what is the equity so yeah this is the important part of uh, any 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 uh, business plan so what is the break even analysis break even analysis is something uh, that when your operating cost is uh, is equal to the profits uh, generated by the company then you reach a break even point that means after this break even point 
your company will start making profits you should be able to articulate that point like in uh, many many uh, in uh, like many competitions i have been asked like uh, up uh, uh, in how many months you will give returns to the investors so that is the break even point uh, so uh, i used to say that after 13 months i will be able to give uh, return the money to the uh, investors so that is how i calculated i will show you how uh, how you uh, you have, how you should calculate so this is also an important part of your financial plan okay uh, one of the other, other thing is what is the implementation road map uh in the sense how are you planning to execute your idea in what timeline so let's say uh, i am entering into the food delivery startup so in the next 3 months what i will do in the next 6 months what i will do i should be able to devise this implement comprehensive in implementation road map to the investors so that they will be very very uh, like convinced that this guy has already uh, has done his research so uh we should so in this implementation roadmap you should explain how you are planning to execute your idea you should be uh, uh, you should elaborate you should elaborate your timeline for at least 1 to 2 years like uh, in uh, during my pitch i used to uh, provide them a comprehensive plan of 1.5 years at least for uh, like for uh, while explaining my idea and you should also be able to explain how would you create uh, what impact would you create during that period so i used to tell in the next 3 months i will be able to acquire 300 uh, customers on my platform uh, in the next 6 months like 5000 customers on my platform so that the, the you should also be able to uh, explain them the impact that you should uh, that you would create during that period so this is basically the implementation road map and uh, uh, the uh, last slide should be a summary or your highlights so whatever you have said whatever your usp is whatever your value proposition is whatever your grow go to market strategy is whatever your financials is so you should be able to uh, create a comprehensive summary of all these things in this startup you should be able uh, able to explain the past the present and the future uh, of the startup in this slide so this is also one of the important slide which provides a comprehensive view to the investors and the last slide should be your uh, thank you slide where you should uh, you should uh, like not forget to add your name with your contact details so yeah this is how a comprehensive business plan should be uh, like uh, i'll uh, this is how uh, a comprehensive plan should be and i now i'll explain my startup like uh, how i i used to pitch my product uh, in front of uh, like investors okay so uh, you will get a idea like how uh, i i articulated my uh, presentation mm -hmm.